He was 62, famous at the height of his career, but last July acclaimed Iranian playwright and director Mahmoud Ustad Mohammad passed away in Tehran, and his daughter Mana is convinced Western sanctions against Iran were partly to blame. Yes, this was the doctor's testimony, says Mana. This is based on my father's medical tests. Through five decades, some of the most famous Iranian plays were brought to life by Ostad Mohammad. Stories about the loves and losses of everyday Iranians, stories his daughter never got tired of watching. He was very much in love with life, says his daughter. He loved anything that was alive, flowers, animals. He was truly a special man. Then in 2011 came a diagnosis of liver cancer. Surgery was not an option. For the next 18 months, Ustad Mohammad stayed alive with the help of the cancer drug, Nexavar. We were very hopeful that if he gets through this stage, he could get healthy, start living again. But last year, soon after Washington and Western allies imposed additional sanctions against Iran, Mana says finding the drug became increasingly difficult. It was very unexpected because for 18 months we could easily get the drug, she says. Now we couldn't and we didn't know what to do. Western powers have long said sanctions designed to curb Iran's nuclear program target the government and do not hurt ordinary Iranians. Indeed, medical goods are exempt from Western sanctions, but Iranian doctors, patients and officials say a ban on Iranian banks doing business with much of the world has severely hampered imports of medical goods. We have a serious shortage of drugs due to high prices or because they're impossible to purchase, says pharmacist Iman Haraini. Every day we get at least 20, 25, 30 calls from patients and they're obviously tired because they've been searching for a while. Last March, finding Nexavar became impossible for Ustad Mohammad's family. Medical tests then showed his FEDO protein level, an indicator of cancer, was a manageable 313. Four months later, without Nexavar, and his levels shot up to more than 20,000. On July 25th, Ustad Mohammad lost his fight with cancer. Iran lost a beloved playwright, and a daughter lost a father who she believes was a victim of Western sanctions and a political conflict he had nothing to do with. More than being angry, I think about how simple-minded politicians are, she says. Sanctions are impacting the people, not the group politicians say they are. Reza Sayah, CNN, Tehran.